Ah. You can't break it off. You can't break it off, Scoob. Oh well. Hi. Oh, oh, there we are. Hi. Two things from the drop of the hat. Um, there's currently a, like a really evil heat wave. It's hot out and I'm right next to the window, right? I'm going to be like, I might, I might be pausing more. Either to get water or to pee. <laughs> Cause you gotta stay hydrated. It's like, uh, it was like a hundred and three, hundred and eight today. <laughs> it was big. It's not done yet. Actually, well, today's the worst day, right? It's supposed to be done later in the week. And I can't wait for that. Oh yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hopefully. You know, as of August 14th. Uh, you don't have to deal with this evil heat wave. Because it's never fun. You know, it's never fun. Ever. Like, looking, looking at the, looking at, like, summer heat compared to, like, winter cold. From, like, a suburban American's perspective. Like, with housing. Summer's worse. Summer's, like handily worse because like the best thing you can do is run ac what if you don't have ac what do you do then you you run fans but fans don't really they blow air on you maybe that that can cool you down a little bit but it's not the same as like you know it actually being cold Whereas, like, an AC unit will suck the, uh, you know, the hot air out. Make it colder inside. Also. Who, who would have thought that the flower garden would be at the fucking Florit sound bar? Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Anyways. Summer's worse. Cause like when it's winter you just get blankets and you fucking chill. But summer you have to have this like proprietary piece of equipment that constantly consumes electricity. Which cuts into your electricity bill and it's like man that fucking blows. And you know, in I guess in the extreme cold you also have like the heater and that can cut into your electricity as well. But you could also, like, this isn't like... This isn't the ideal fix, but you could wear, like, added clothing or, like, fucking bring blankets or blankets around. So that way you wouldn't have to totally rely on these, all you know, on this, on this proprietary equipment. Whereas in the summer, what, well, you're going to take off your fucking skin? You know, if you live alone and you're on very good terms with your roommate, I guess you could, like, go shirtless, but, like, fucking... There's only so much you can do, you know, before you start looking like fucking Double D in the summer episode. Where there's a heat wave and he starts getting a little loopy. But... You know, just... It'll be fine. I don't know, I was kind of freaking out about it yesterday. Whenever there's like a big heat wave. Like a big impending heat wave. There's always like the day before where it's just like... You know, a tester. For, for evil to come, right? And it's always, like, uncomfortable and worse than what you're used to, and it sucks because, like, you have that knowledge. Or at least it sucks particularly for me because I have that, that knowledge that, oh, yeah, this is just good, what it's going to be for, like, the next day or two, and that's miserable, and I fucking hate it, right? I don't want to, I don't want to have to, like, live in this. But I have to live in this. Oh. Minoru. Well, that's the only attempt I'm making at that. But yeah, it's, like, not... It's never fun. It's never fun being like, oh, this sucks, and it's going to be worse, and, like, I have to get through it, because it's in the future, right? Fuck. 
<laughs> and then, you know, when it's in the present, you know, in like the preliminary heat day, it's always like, but, but it, it feels like it goes on for an eternity because, you know, it's the present. You just kind of want it to be over with, but it's not very easy. You know, you can't just like, oh, I'll just sleep. It's fucking like 99 out, dog. You're just going to sleep. Where? The fridge? You, you gonna sleep in the fridge? That's like the only thing I could think of that'd be kind of comfortable. Otherwise, you just kind of suck. You feel? I don't really have a quest going. That's what all this menu stuff is for. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Elden. Let's get the Colossal Fossil and the, and the Goron Spices, why don't we? But... Oh, where was I? Fuck. It's... I don't know. In the present, it's, like, horrible. Because it's this new and, like, uncomfortable thing. And you can't just, like... Can't fast-forward time. Outside of, like, sleeping. But you're not gonna be sleeping easily. You know? Then the next day, it's usually better. Just, like, for the mental game. For me. At the very least. Because I've already... I've already anguished about it. And, then you know... I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm like a little neurotic. Is that a shrine? No, that's just a rock. I thought that was like the bow of a shrine that needed a crystal. You feel? But it wasn't. Anyways. I, I'm kind of like neurotic. And it, and it kind of, it, it sucks, like, a little bit. I, because it's like... Part of it's like, oh, I, I've got to prepare. And then part of it's also just, like, compounding on, like, the anxious tendency. So it's like, oh, I've got to prepare. This sucks. It's going to suck. Oh, my God. This is going to, like, end my world if I'm not good at it. If I don't prepare good enough. And that, that's not, that's not true. But it's easy to fall into that pit sometimes. It's like a it's like a reason to get therapy. <laughs> and I will be. Um, as soon as I can actually sign up for it. I've through through my school. It's like a nice, like free way to get therapy. It can be quite expensive and I don't know, I, I would prefer to dodge a, another fee, you know? Since I've got free resources, might as well put them to use. Anyways. So, like, it kind of sucks, the way they compound together, but it's also kind of, like, useful. Helpful, even. Because it's like... I've already thought of several plans and exactly when I'm going to enact them to make the next day as painless as possible, right? So, like, uh, like, right before the peak today, took a cold shower, right? And you know, and you know my fucking, oh, that is not the menu button. You know my, like, fascination with the kabuki hair and Inuyasha, right? I don't know if I mentioned this when I was talking about, like, Witnessing Inuyasha's character design as a child ruined me because I thought Kabuki hair was really cool for the rest of time. But like when 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 COVID hit, I had like oh no, I had to have talked about this. I had to have. This feels all too familiar. Anyway, uh, I kind of grew my hair out big and long. Because I think I think big and long hair looks cool because Inuyasha. Right? And I already had like thick, kind of wavy hair. And now it's long. So that's that's like drying that shit in the morning in regular temperate weather fucking like blows. 
because it takes it takes a while it takes a while or it takes a lot of effort and man fuck that i used to get my shit buzz cut right there's no hair to dry you fucking put a you put a paper towel over your pointy like prickly like baby cactus ash scalp and that shit's dry it's fucking whatever it's so easy to maintain but when it's long oh but it's worth it because it like looks awesome you know it's like the price to pay for like fashion and beauty oh Meat located. Sorry, buddy. Ah, uh, the price to pay for two exquisite steak bites is having to go back up the mountain. Honestly, I should like. I don't even know if it's like hunting season. Do you, Do you think Hyrule has like seasons, or do you think they like used to have like seasons? Like now, I can't be so sure. Ah, uh, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Shout out to Halo Reach. Just gonna take these and be on my way. Hopefully, my my bike didn't already despawn. Huh? That thing loves to go away when I'm not looking at it. And I sure was not looking at it there. Yeah. Yeah, no. Like, for real. Like, for real. I think it's it. Whatever. Whatever. But yeah, so I, I got my hair wet with cold water. Like, an hour before the peak of the heat wave for today. And today is like the peak of the heat. Of the whole wave. And it's been okay. I've been drinking a lot of water. Making sure to stay hydrated and all that. Uh. Roommate. Sister. Got like ice cream. So I had some of that. You know. Some cold. Some cold loveliness. In this intense heat. Uh. I'm like. I'm like kind of. I'm like kind of like silly. I like heated up my fucking dinner. And then I put it in the fridge. Like, like, I fucking heated that shit up. So it's like, okay, it's cooked. It's edible. Great. And then I just fucking refrigerated the shit out of it. Because it's like, if I eat the hot food, it'll raise my body temperature a little bit. I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna make it uh, less good to eat, but still safe to eat. In the name of... Reservation. And, uh, that's- that's one of the goofier things I've done. Is that not? Oh, I need two rocks? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Three? See now you're now you're trying my patience. Yeah, no, I, I don't care anymore. It's just a Korok seed. I've reached the point where like you need a million Korok seeds to expand your inventory. So I've essentially reached the soft cap of inventory. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. I don't need a hundred percent. I'm I'm chilling. I'm balling. Man. Man can't figure out how to place rocks on the floor correctly. Runs away, frustrated, unable to complete simple baby challenge. More at seven. <laughs> oh, right, I needed to pick up Goron Spice. I forgot. It was part of the methodology here. You're not part of the methodology, but part of, like, the dinner plan. That'd be more appropriate. Sure is. Because I'm the one that decides what's appropriate. What's up? 
Sava Sava. So instead of selling Fuck, that's a isn't that isn't that Cool. No, that's rad. Instead of just selling fucking luminite. You can sell all sorts of minerals. And apparently I like I would I would I would hope that was an, a better price than the usual price. But you know, I didn't really do my due diligence because I didn't want to be impolite. I didn't want to appear rude to the video game character. You know how it is. Yeah, I'll take them all. Here as I go on with that. Water, heat, plotting. Yeah, I don't remember. Water, heat, planning. It's good to plan in the face of it being bad to plan. It's, it can be kind of useful, even though it's, like, very frustrating and difficult. What? What? Yeah, I don't remember. Beats me, boss. You know what's funny? Right, I used to be really... It's kind of biased for me to say, like, I like winter better. Because I'm... Oh, it's easier to deal with the cold. So I used to be, like, really good at it. You know, for, like, a fucking suburbanite kid. <laughs> um, because... Where I live... Well, because I used to... I didn't, I didn't sleep in my room as a child, like at a point, there was a point, right? When I was, when I was like a kid, when I was like a little baby man, like a literal, like fucking like infantile, tiny child, right? I don't have the kind of agency to just go sleep in the cool basement with the fucking video game consoles, you know? Parents, parents gotta be sure I'm not up all night on a school night playing fucking Xbox. And good on them for taking that precaution, because that's definitely the kind of thing I would do back then. Right. So, like, during the summer, they'd let me sleep in the basement. But, like, when I got older, I just kind of, like, preferred sleeping in the basement more than my room. So they were like, fine. Go for it, Bosh. You know, the way that was set up, you would have thought it would have been, like, a guaranteed diamond. Nope. Anyways. Just to sleep in the basement. Right? Subterranean. It's the lowest floor of the house and it's in the dirt. It's like part of part of the definition of a basement. It's like below ground. So it's fucking cold down there. It's the coldest room in the house by default. Unless you got like a freezer room. But that's like Like admittedly, these days having a basement's kinda like strange and excessive, right? Having a fucking like freezer room is like weirdo shit. What 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 are you freezing? Bodies? Fucking psycho. <laughs> right? Yeah, so it's like the coldest room in the house, and I just slept down there all the time. And uh, little did we know at the time, but the AC unit was busted down there. Or, like, not the AC unit, but, like, the AC, like, system in the house was broken, particularly in the basement. And not in the way where it's like, oh, when it's hot out, there's no, there's no AC and it gets kind of hotter down there, but because it's the coldest room in the house, it's fucking nothing, right? No, it's in the sense that the AC will turn on when it's supposed to turn on, but it turns on way too fucking hard every single time. And it was like that for years, right? It's fucking cold. It was real fucking cold. I didn't know better. No one knew better. So, uh, 
Yeah, I just slept in like a, a fucking incredibly cold. Well, not incredibly. A reasonably cold room. Day in, day out, all the time. And it got to the point where like, when winter came, I could just go outside and like, I, I could do like the scary white boy thing. I would wear like, I could wear like shorts and a t-shirt and be like, yep. What's, what's the matter, dog? It's just, it's just a little cold out. It's just a little nippy. What do you, what do you mean you have to put on a jacket? Long sleeves. What are you? A weakling? <laughs> hmm. What's the gambit here? That's the gambit here. Just like a good old fashioned press the button in time button. Shrine. Puzzle. Yoink! Yippee! Alright. I was gonna say, did I even need to hit that button? I could have just flown over here. It's like, yes, uh, the door was previously shut. Yet, yeah, yeah, ignoramus. Ooh. What's the method for today? Whoa, that goes up. No, I wanna, I wanna go up. Take me up. Shablow. Double ups. Huge. Oh, I I see your game. This is this is cool. You have to race the boulder down, and that's why there's those fucking water things. Uh, I don't know where the button is. Ah, uh, <laughs> I think the button's on that platform actually. So I biffed that. Fucking hell. Yeah, okay. So I can't go into the water. Into the water! Yeah, it was like cold. And I could just do whatever. And it was cool. And I can't do it anymore. I'm kind of disappointed. But like... That's fine. <laughs> it's whatever. No! Ow! Oh. I had to wait an extra second. The horror. The misery. Everybody wants to be... ...ahead of me. That- that's the lyric, right? That's- that's a good bit, right? Clearly, because I'm asking if it was a good bit, it was a great bit. Because I have to ask. Don't you understand the machinations that govern... ...talking? Tayo, do it. What? That's not, that's not how the fucking, what? Oh. Uh, fortunate roll, it would, it would appear to be. Yoink. Ah, aw. Okay. No, 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 we can, we can, we can, we can fuck this up. We can't fuck this up. Okay. Um. Ow. By ow, I mean, ooh, brisk. That's not... This was a, this was a worse plan. This was a worse plan. Reposition. Recalibrate. One of these days, I, I just have to make a fucking rocket spear. Uh, no, dude. Oh. Son of a bitch. Alright. Fuck. Go. Yeah. Not even close. The first try.
All right, it's time, it's time for another. It's time for another poll, right? Do Do you put ice in your water, or do you just do you just fucking like raw dog the water, like even when it's hot, right? Like, let's say there's no extracurricular factors that would sway. You're you're just like in the comfort of your own home. You're not even like at a restaurant, right? Because like whenever you're at a restaurant, you just fucking like, oh, do you want ice? Sure, right? You don't you, you fucking. You don't want to, like, make life any more difficult for the waiter. Just like, yeah, fuck it. Give me the water. Give me the ice in the water. Right? But you're in, like, the comfort of your own home. You have the ability to put ice in your water. Do you do it? Or do you just fucking... And it's, like, tap water. Right? You, you can't cheat. You can't just fucking, like, have the, a refrigerator that dispenses beautiful cold water whenever you want or desire no like it, it, it's fucking it's tap water or tap water with ice what do you do uh i i've discussed my my food crimes in the past uh, i'm obviously like a little disgusting animal and i just do like the raw tap water truth be told there's not enough like time and in the day, you know, to like, <laughs> there's not enough time in the day to fucking put ice in my water. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like I don't, I don't care. I don't care enough. Like, yeah, it's, it's like cool. That's nice. But like, I don't want to. I don't care. I don't want it. I don't need it. Definitely looks better in advertisements, though. Shout out. What's up? Oh. Oh. How does an eyeball fossilize? Like, I know this is like a video game fantasy setting. So it's like, it fossilizes because fuck you, buddy. But like, how would an eyeball fossilize? Especially like this. Like, I could see an eyeball, like, fossilizing because it's encased in amber. And, like, in being encased in the amber, it, it like, gets fossil-like properties. But, like, part of, like, being dead and shit is having your meat go away. And eyeball is just, like, wet meat, you know? It's just, like, wet old meat in your head. It's like a grape. Yeah! Oh, shit. <laughs> awesome. But, like... How would you do that? This guy, like, did this guy see? Like, I, don't, I, th I think this is, like, a prank. I think this is a prank. I don't think those are actually its eyes. I think someone thought it'd be funny to lodge boulders in there and actually, like, damage the integrity of the skeleton. His adorable baby head. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. That is a giant dead leviathan that could, like, eat the entire base camp at Hyrule. Like, what? It's just like Leviathan quest. Like, let's let's all go look at some fucking skeletons, everybody. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's something to do, right? Funny how this is just like a string of side quests, but isn't like one big side adventure. Like what? I mean, I guess this is like... I don't know. I guess, like, generally, it's a side quest. So it's just like, fetching or that shit. It's not like cool stuff, but side adventures are only cool. Like, this is pretty cool. You're going to look at fucking big old, big old bones. I don't know. Anyways, it's about time. So how's about... Oh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna prank you. Let me prank you. I'm gonna sauce you. What? Oh. Uh. Are you, are you corporeal? Did that just go through one of like your rib bones? We, now nah, we gotta test this. Can you let me in? Can you kneel for me so I could get on, please? Or is that like impossible for you because I'm holding a thing? Damn it. Get back here. Ah! <gasps> Fucking, it's one of life's greatest mysteries. We'll never know. <laughs>